this is actually a request from the community post i posted about a week or so ago still in the process of unpacking and trying to get my office and stuff together but i had to get this video out real quick so we're going to hop right into it for this effect i'm going to use this little clip here from asap rocky's new video with the, uh, rihanna we're going to right click turn to a new fusion clip we we'll take it to a fusion and we're going to rotoscope i'm actually going to skip that part here i got more about rotoscope in another video so we're going to bypass this real quick Once your subject is rotoscoped out, you want to add a little bit of a soft edge to it and play it back and check it. It could be a little better, but it's pretty good for this uh, for this uh, tutorial. Now that your subject is rotoscoped out, we're going to click on the media one, hit control C, and hit control V to paste it in the empty space. You're going to take the output and connect it to the output of media one. It's going to automatically create your merge node. We're going to bring back in your background. You're going to slide this over, make a little space. You know, media one dash one or you can hit f2 to rename it media two or media n2 rather and hit okay and with media two selected go ahead control spacebar and we're going to displace node you want to check it make sure it's attached to your node tree you're going to go up here and grab your fast noise connect the output of the fast noise to the green input you want to hit either two on the keyboard or you can just drag the uh, node over to the left or to drag it up if you're having the, the traditional layout. And you can basically get a view of your fast noise. I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the detail a little bit. Crank up the crack contrast all the way. You can adjust the brightness if you want. Uh, probably about right there. You can adjust the scale. Probably leave it, probably leave it pretty big or you can make it small, make it more detailed if you want. I'm gonna leave about right here. Just the seat if you want to, and the seat rate. It's gonna basically change the animation. The higher the, the higher this number is here, the more animation you get. So you can crank it down, a little more, a little subtle. We'll go back into the displacement, and you can already see it's taking effect. Basically, the fast noise affects the displacement. You can go in here, you can crank up the offset. You kind of stretch it out a little bit. Now the real magic doesn't happen until you turn up the refraction strength and that's when you just get completely distorted blurred out image and you play it back you see the animations now you'll notice you can't see your rotoscope subjects so you're gonna go over to merge one hit control t and it'll bring back the rotoscope subject back from there you want to click on displace hit control spacebar and type in soft glow Move this over a little bit. With the soft glow, you want to crank up the glow size just a little bit, or however it fits your liking. And again, you can hit, you can uncheck lock X and Y. You can kind of spread it out how you want. That's completely up to you. Click on soft glow and hit control space again. You're gonna hit glow. There's two different glows. You want to hit the one with the little pattern here, not the one with the teardrop. Hit add. That one never actually let you change and distort the color. Turn up the gamma, the gain, or the gain in gamma, and the saturation. Almost again, before the glows, you want to ride the displace. I'm going to hit control space, I'm going to hit dent. On the dent, you want to go to the size, right click and go to modify width, add them curves. Now you can change this dent to how you want. It's different ones, kaleidoscope. You get different effects which you change it, dent two. They give over like a lava lamp kind of look almost. And three. And it just animates the dent effect automatically for you. You can actually keyframe your dent effect to change it how you want. But right now we're gonna go ahead to the dent, you know, the modifiers, you change it to duration. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna change the curve from linear to easing, and you can choose different effects. I'm using, I usually go with Expo. 
within the modifiers tab on the scaler, you can change the different effects, how it scales. You see the ring here is actually the full length of it. You can drop it down, get a smaller scale. Oh, can't drop it down too much. Drop it down to about right there, just a little smaller. You can change the offset too. It starts off pretty big and then just widens from there. Get a little notch, you go back to one. And you can just play around with it how you will see fit. Like, so you can also change these little effects and go back to mirroring and it actually will go back and forward. If you're looking for good quality sound effects and music, check out the link in the description down below for Epidemic Sounds. They're actually giving away a 60 free day trial right now. Also check out the link in the description for the background music in this video. It's actually a YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it in the description as well. And that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I upload the next video. And I'll see you next time. Click this video here for more video effects.